So a womanist for The Atlantic wrote this article that I really like. It says, if you want marriage of equals, then you have to date as equals. And this sociologist, what she found was that women who claim to be womanists actually have very regressive views when it comes to their dating lives. And she is shocked. None of the women considered proposing marriage. That was a man's job, they said. I know it feels counterintuitive. I'm a womanist, the first said but I like having the guy to be chivalrous. Equality in the streets, gender norms in the sheets. <laughs> oh, you got a flu or something? I got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Heterosexual women of a progressive bent often say they want equal partnerships with men, but dating is a different story entirely. The women I interviewed for a research project and book expected men to ask for plan and pay for dates, initiate intercourse, confirm the exclusivity of a relationship, and propose marriage. After setting all those precedents, these women, they, these women then wanted a marriage in which they would have shared financial responsibilities, housework, childcare relatively equally, right? Almost none of my interviewees saw these dating practices as a threat to their womanist credentials or to their desire for egalitarian marriages, but they were wrong. Absolutely. I've been having conversation with a lot of womanists. Yeah, and yeah. And when I, when I talk to them, I'm like, yo, what are you even talking about? Right. You fluke. Yeah. You're against everything. Yeah, but it's just different. And, and they, they just go on this, this tangent that right. there are a lot of things like that for the, 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 the dating side, but for the rest of the world, it's like, I'm like, no, you can't just, what? Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, I got more for you. Okay. But I did expect to hear progressive views. Most wanted equal partnerships where they could share both financial and family responsibilities. Almost everyone I interviewed was quite vocal of their support for gender equality and didn't shy away from the womanist label. However, I noticed a glaring disconnect between the straight women's views on marriage and their thoughts on dating. Once these women were married, it was difficult to right the ship, so to speak. The same gender stereotypes that they adopted while dating played out in their long-term relationships. And yet, in a throwback to earlier era, many women I spoke with enacted strict dating rules. It's a deal breaker if a man doesn't pay for the date. One woman, age 29, told me. A 31-year-old said that if a man doesn't pay, they just probably don't like you very much. A lot of men, they assumed, were looking for nothing more than a quick hookup. So some of these dating rituals were tests to see whether the man was truly interested in a commitment. She couldn't believe it. I'm not surprised at all. I remember one day I went, I, I had this huge conversation with one of my womanist friends, and I was like, ugh, girl makes no sense. I came back home and I was like, yo, I had my ass my wife. I'm like, yo, Stephanie, are you a woman? And she's like, nope, don't forget to pick up the trash. That's your job. And she <laughs> left. And I was like, yeah. okay. This I'm girl sat there shocked and wrote for the Atlantic and almost every man at home is like, duh. Yeah. We been knowing this. Been knowing. There's some jobs my girl won't do. She's like, nah, I'm not, that's not my job. I'm cool. But of course, people should have equal rights and being treated equal and stuff like that. But then there's stuff that she's not going to do. So yeah. she's not a womanist. But yes, the pick and choosing, we've been, we've been knowing the process, the pattern Bruh. has been going on, the Bruh. way they've been talking. Yeah. It's and that's what happened when you talk and when you ask questions. You know, the thing that, you know, uh, is very reprehensible uh, if you're a guy like us and you try to ask questions and... Listen, as a cis person, you have no voice. Okay, sis. <laughs> well, listen, womanism is not about telling people they have to abandon the old rules. It's about giving people the option to. <laughs> listen, this is what I'll say about this. I've been knowing this. My budget is adjusted for this. I know what's expected when I go on dates. I know what's expected. I mean, listen, I be with a lot of these womanist brats. And let me tell you, behind closed doors, they love oppression. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked. They love oppression so much they try to pull it out of me, and I'm like, nah, I don't do that. You go, you go. Like, 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 like the most messed up stuff that I've ever had to see in the bedroom has always been with a woman who has hyper, hyper womanist views. Yeah, of course. You go from a womanist with a choker to choke me, daddy. You will not suppress me to choke me, daddy, real quick. 
But it's okay. I mean, one doesn't, one is not the other. One does not, it's not because you want to be, you know, you have some fantasies that, and it's control fantasies that you want to be. I get that, and I understand that. It's not because, well, you know, in the bedroom, it's control, and I decide to, and it's, then, and then, I get all of that. It's just funny how money changes the situation. And it's funny how you guys say you want men to support your professional goals and all that stuff when you start a family, but the reality is as soon as a family starts, a lot of y'all still want Hey, hey, hey. switch. <laughs> It's fine. It's just interesting that everything is men's fault when it comes to how these gender roles are enforced. But the reality is, a lot of women subscribe to it of their own volition. And and, and when men actually encourage y'all to abandon those roles, you're like, no, 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 we're not doing you, that. You, you when can't. men are like, hey, why don't y'all propose? You guys are like, I would never. That's disgusting. We want to be treated equal. We want to be treated equal. All right, carry that part. Uh, actually... You know how, how much I want a lady to pay for my meals? See what you do? You do... You did it again. You f***ing never learned. What? Ah! What the f*** you think is gonna happen in the DMs? Huh? Oh. Motherfuckers from Chicago, uh, Atlanta, California, could pay for your meal, Abba. Listen, listen, you can wine and dine me, okay? But you better come correct, because I ain't dating down. <laughs> You're stupid for this. But I ain't mad at you. Could do bad by myself. I'm just saying. Hey, listen, you ladies, you want to take me out for dinner? Let's go. Let's go. I think my karma's due, because I've been taking out a lot of people out for dinners. Ladies, you want to start doing some proposing? Let's go. My thing needs some ringers. My thing needs some ringers. My fingers need some rings. <laughs> My ring needs some fingers. <laughs> My ring needs some fingers. Well, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. You know? Let's go. I'm ready to be a stay-at-home dad. Who trying to husband me up? Huh? Let's go. Let's get progressive. 2020. New year, new you. New decade, new you. Let's go. I work from home. I do this YouTube thing. You know what I mean? Come on. Come on. You don't sound thirsty at all. No, this is just uh, the estrogen hitting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. Ready to take your order. <laughs> Wow. Hey, let's go. Gender role. Let's do it. Let's get rid of these gender norms. I got a bad knee, girl. You can do the bend in me. Let's go. Come on, man. Listen, y'all want to open doors for me? Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to be serviced. I want to come home on Valentine's Day and there's rose petals everywhere. I want that. I want Valentine's Day to roll around. I'd be like, ooh, my girl gonna take me out. Let's go. About to get booed up. Like, yo, come on. I'm ready. 2020, let's do this. Let's, let's be progressive. Girl, I want you to change my tires. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> come on, girl. Niggas gonna change his tires. Yo, give me a jar. I'll pretend I can't open it, boo. <laughs> come on, I got a pickle jar at home. And I got pickles for you. Let's go 2020, let's get progressive. Huh? Nah? Roses? Mine don't smell like boo boo boo. Come on. <laughs> huh? Now nah, you're not ready? Okay. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, you know, let's go. I better have no gay niggas up in my DMs talking about, mm, I'll take care of you, nigga. Like, nah, that's not, that's not happening. Why not? Because I don't swing like that. You don't swing. I'm progressive. I'm not that progressive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not switching my uh, sexual orientation on a dime progressive. <laughs> That's too far from I me. I mad at you for that. But, okay. So anyways, we just want to play this video for y'all because we had a good laugh. Uh, women, I don't know why you're surprised. That's all I'm going to say. Until then, men, prep your wallets. Make sure your money's right because these ladies expect y'all to break bank. Money clip. Did you want to get booed up? Uh, I'm good. Okay. No, I'm, I don't want to. No. No. No, I'm good. You, you don't want. You don't want the rise of the womanist to take over your relationship and for you guys to change your roles. No, thank you. No. We're good. Okay. We're super good. Okay. All right. She knows. She knows her role. Okay. I know my role. She knows her role. And her role. Just shut the fuck. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Come on. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. All right. We'll let it go. <laughs> what would be a, a substitute for the word? The substitute for the word yeah. females right activist, I guess. Anything else? Something juicier? Something juicier? 
how about an Emma Watson? Sure, I like that. So, uh, no, that's kind of derogatory. Yeah. An Emma Watson. What's, what's, what's juicier? An Emma Watson who writes for The Atlantic wrote this article that I really enjoyed. She says, if you want a marriage of equals, then date as equals. And through her research and through her conversations with people who are Emma Watsons, a.k.a. Um, oh, because we can't say that word? No. Here's what she found. Womanist. <laughs> Womanist. I like that one. Okay. So a womanist. <laughs>